An attempt at a little friendly U.S.-China diplomacy has ended in a debacle. Fists, chairs, water bottles flying. A brawl during an exhibition basketball game. The Georgetown Hoyas playing China. So what happened? Here's ABC's Jim Shuto. It was a goodwill trip to China that turned ugly. A collision between players from the Georgetown Hoyas and Bai Yi Rockets turned to shoving and then an all-out brawl. Chinese players swarmed the court, kicking one Georgetown player on the ground. Coaches and fans joined the fight, one raising a chair over his head. Washington Post reporter Gene Wong was inside the arena. This is a kind of a men's team, an experienced team. And you're frankly getting embarrassed by a college team, you know, so, and they couldn't beat them squarely playing basketball, so they tried to, you know, muck it up and get really physical, and they obviously crossed the, crossed the, the bounds of good sportsmanship. The fight ended only when Georgetown coach John Thompson III pulled his team off the court with nine minutes left in the game. They asked for, but didn't receive, a police escort back to their hotel. This is a trip that the Georgetown team and the campus were looking forward to with huge anticipation. Tonight, the Georgetown coach released a statement saying that two great teams played a competitive game and his team regrets how it ended. The officials were just horrid. I mean. You know, I'm, I've, I've been covering sports for 20 plus years. I've never seen officials do a worse job than they did. The brawl, the video spread across the internet, comes at an embarrassing time for U.S. and Chinese officials. Vice President Joe Biden had just arrived in China trying to ease relations as the world's two largest economies clash over America's debt, trade, and a host of national security issues. It had been all smiles when Biden stopped to watch Georgetown's first game in China on Wednesday. But for the team, it's this image that may be more lasting. Jim Shudo, ABC News, Washington.